Chapter number eight, combined loading, foundation example number two. This example, we want to study the effect of a square foundation with the weight of 10,000 pounds handling the weight of the foundation itself. W is 10,000 pounds. And, and handling four separated silos in, in its corners. Each, if empty silo weights 5,000, and, and when you fill them up with the some stacks, it, it's 15,000. If the silos of one side is loaded, for example, if this side is loaded, and the other side is just the weight of the silos itself, so that's 5,000 each. I want to know what is the minimum B in meters in such way no point of the foundation uh, goes under tension. So it means no point of the, nowhere in the foundation, in, say it's, uh, Detached from, from the soil below. Let's see, then we want to know what is the dimension of each side of, of this foundation. So let's start our problem. So if just, if we consider like the weight of a structure, we simulate that by a concentrated load applied at the center of gravity or centroid of our structure by 10,000 tons. And, and the silos of the top silos, like here, are the empty one, which only we have to uh, consider the weight of the structure itself. So these are the empty silos, just 5,000 for the weight of the silos itself. And the other side, it just goes with the material, field silos with some materials, and that's 15,000 each. 50,000 pounds, and likewise, this is also 15,000. We want to know what is the minimum width of or dimension of this square foundation. So for calculating that, first of all, just solution, let's consider what is the total force applied at this foundation. So the total is two empty silos, two 5,000 plus two 15,000, which is two of these field silos over here, plus 10,000, which we already simulate the weight of this foundation itself like a concentrated load applying at the central and you if add, if you add them up together that's 50,000 tons at the same time if we get the nature of the moment because if you just consider the moment about point axis x the forces uh, in one side of the x-axis are, are cancelling out the forces in the other side. The same because the distance is also, each of them is 10 meters. Each of them are, are 10 meters. We also, for the moment in x directions, cancelling each other, so there is no moment in x direction. But if you Keep a closer look for my total based of y axis. Now there is a difference between 5,000 and 15,000. Each of their distances is 10 meters. So that's an, in each side of y axis, we do have two of them. So that's two, ta two times differences of 15,000, a, a feed silos, and, and also subtracting the empty silos in the other side times the distance which creates the moment of these forces and if you the mass it gives you 100,000 pounds meter and then uh, definitely eccentricity is m over p 
component our force gives us arm and arm in these terms is our eccentricity of of the the total force so that's 200 over 50 and that gives us four meters of of eccentricity of by friction so let's see how we can apply that in our problem if you remember the equation for the from the third medial rule which we already reviewed that if the force applies somewhere in this a center rhombus uh, or nowhere in the corners experience a tension so that's this equation six times six times e y, uh, e y over l plus six times e x over b is smaller than l so this one is zero because that's e y directly relate to mx and our mx when you how you see that that's a zero so that that says this equation goes zero then six times e b e x over b should be less than one and we already know e x is equal to e e b because that's related to a moment in y axis uh, about y axis so that's it turns out to this equation and because we already know what ev is it just says ev should be at least less than at least equal to b over six because we already know what ev is from previous part we do know that b should be greater than 24 meters it says that if the dimension of this square are, are equal or bigger than 20 meters there is no point in this structure which experiencing attention and then so it will be foundation will be remains detached to will be remains attached to the soil beneath. Thank you, we'll solve more problems.